We made it to the airport. Craziest Uber ride I've ever been in my life. I need a little something to relax because I'm ready to crawl in the corner and cry, maybe. But we got here, so here we go. Bye bye Brussels. On to the second part of our trip where we're heading from Brussels to Riga and then connecting over to Vilnius, which is our next stop in our adventure here. Our hero, our driver waited for us about an hour after, super happy. So we made it to Vilnius. I'm being quiet because it's uh, one in the morning right now, and we're just checked in. But look at this. That's our key. Can, are you serious? I'm going to be able to hurt somebody. Okay, it's a little harder than I expected. There we go. Oh, this is very interesting. This It used to be a convent, and now it is a hotel. And I can see the uh, convent style in it. All right, we gotta go to bed. It's too late. We started off day one with grabbing some breakfast at the hotel in an awesome spot before heading to the KGB Museum. We are here at the KGB Museum or the Occupation uh, Freedom Museum. I think it's what it's actually called. We're gonna go check this out. Code was really interested. Frankly, I'm interested too. I think it's gonna be really cool. So let, let's go and see. Going down to the prisons in the KGB Museum. just got done with the uh, museum and now we're headed to the cat cafe. I've talked them into it. I don't know how this is going to work out. To the cathedral here in Vilnius. Look at this bad boy, look at this tower. That's pretty cool. And then right next to it over here is the Christmas market. We're gonna tool around there and see if we can find some food and drinks. And then uh, we'll see what, if we can go inside here or not. Get a Minas Castle Tower, We're about to take this little funicular up to the top, and then to the right, just over there, is where the castle tower is. So let's go take a peek and see what it looks like. So we're at the castle tower here. A little bit of a walk up. It's cold. <laughs> it is a little cold. It's like 20, 25 degrees. Feels uh, like 15. Yeah, feels feels like 15. There's a little bit of a wind chill. So we're just gonna walk up and check it. Um, super easy to get to. It's only like for a round trip, it's only two euro. I'll just take the little uh, funicular up. Not bad at all. And then you get this. And then we'll get the site, we'll get the sights of the city over here. So pretty cool.
That night we headed out to dinner at a restaurant near us to try some local Lithuanian food. We tried the zeppelins, which are basically boiled potato dumplings with meat mixed in, and then fried bread or kepta duona, which is basically fried bread with garlic on top, and it was absolutely delicious. We just finished our first dinner in Lithuania. What did you think of the food? Uh, it was delicious. Tasty, tasty, tasty. It is day two in Lithuania here. We're just waiting for our car right now. We've got a trip out to see Bauska Castle and, and Rundale Palace out in Latvia. So we're gonna get another country in. And then we're also gonna go see the Hill of Crosses, which should be really fascinating as well. We're here at the Hill of Crosses. When the Russians occupied this city, they burned it to the ground, killing about 5,000 people. And the Lithuanian people in support came out and they brought these crosses for their family members to build. And they actually have burned this down, I believe twice, and tried to bulldoze it. And each time they've come back and put more and more. And there's roughly 300,000 crosses in here. And we'll go up, we'll see a little bit more up, up top, right up here. Rundale's palace. So we're gonna go check this out. Look at this bad boy though. That's a big palace. So we're gonna walk up there and uh, go inside. made it to the Republic of Uzipis. It is built off of a bunch of artists and everything. It was created. It's all centered around this. See a little swing there. It's kind of funny. But all the artists and everything live in here and have built their own little republic. So we're gonna go check it out now. This right here is the bar where the Republic of Elizabeth was created in 1998. They actually wrote their constitution right here. We're gonna see it, it's down on the wall a little bit further, but that's a, uh, that's a good way to do it, right? Just go into a bar and create up your own little nation. Constitution, in case you're curious. You know, everyone has the right to uh, live by the river. And they also have the right to make mistakes. Where's the live by right there? Look at that. Everyone has the right to be happy and unhappy.
So this is in celebration of 700 years of Vilnius becoming the capital of Lithuania. So they've had all sorts of celebrations. We haven't seen them. They started last year and it's lots of fun though. A lot of fun. Made it to the top. Look at this, you can come right next to the tree. Pretty fun. And then when you come up here, hi, you can get a little view of the whole market from up here. It's kind of fun with the cathedral and everything. Mm -hmm. 